The TIE Defender Research Facility can't be held much longer. There are no other imperialist forces nearby. All that is available is an ordinary bulk freighter, which will be used to evacuate the last prototypes. The last handful of personnel will leave aboard shuttle Ganupkit. Among them is the lead research scientist. TIE Defender Delta-1 and escort shuttle Red Knight will cover the evacuation and escort freighter Marsuk to safety. Do not fail. This technology must be preserved for the greater glory of the Empire. You are to evacuate the TIE Defender R&D platform and get the remaining prototypes to safety. The bulk freighter Marsup is the nearest available craft and will arrive shortly. The two surviving prototypes will be loaded onto it. A couple of shuttles are being sent also. The few remaining key personnel and copies of the most critical data will be evacuated on the shuttles. You are to ensure that these craft escape into hyperspace before the next attack of Zarin's forces. You will fly a TIE Defender designated Delta-1. You will have no wingmen. For this mission, your craft has been loaded with the standard armament of eight advanced concussion missiles. Interrogation of prisoners indicates the next attack will be to destroy the facility. The failure of the last attack leaves him with little choice. Zarin is determined to keep the Emperor from holding the platform or benefiting from the TIE Defender technology. Clearly, Zarin believes the TIE Defender offers him a technological edge, provided he is the only one who can take advantage of it. Expect at least one Nebulon B frigate with a full complement of TIE fighters, two squadrons. The actual fighters will probably be TIE advanced or modified versions of older designs. Freedom Marsup will arrive in a moment, Delta One. Go to full power. Soup here with a couple of extra escorts. Gnab Gib will deliver the TIE Defender technicians to Freighter Marsup. Battle stations, looks like another attack is starting.
Warning, operation complete. Okay, the TIE Defender techs will remotely pilot the TIE Defenders to the Marsup.
We successfully evacuated the last prototypes aboard freighter Masu. We were also able to secure some key personnel from the facility before its destruction. Among them, surprisingly, was the chief scientist. 